Hi student, I am Dr. D. S. Thavre. Please wait, I share this link of today's lectures. Okay. Welcome to the 21st lecture of course number PAT 3.4, title of this course, Decisions of Field and Horticultural Crops and their Management. Okay. Today, we will discuss about the decisions of the papaya. So, papaya is the evergreen plants. So, that's why the many fungal and uh, bacterial or some viral pathogen attack to this papaya and produce the different uh, diseases, especially soft rot, foot rot, or stem rot disease caused by the PT and Athen dermatum. And uh, majorly viral pathogen infect to the papaya because uh, already I told about the this papaya is evergreen plants. So that's why many insects can prefer to these papaya plants for uh, feeding purpose. So that's why this uh, viral problem generally seen in the papaya as compared to the bacterial and fungal infections. So these mosaic leaf curl and wing spot, such type of disease generally seen in the papaya due to the uh, this papaya mosaic virus, the Nicotiana virus strain and papaya wing spot virus response no? means uh, respective means okay so already we discussed in lecture number three so in lecture number three already uh, seen the information about the soft rot or uh, food rot disease okay so in today's we discuss about the only viral diseases seen in the papaya crops okay so first of all, the virus pathogen infect to the papaya and produces the uh, variegated symptoms seen on that uh, papaya plants. Okay, means initially mottling and uh, mosaic type of these symptoms generally seen because uh, number of the insect means uh, maybe aphid and white flies or any seeking pest generally attack to this uh, papaya leaf so in this way this virus can multiply on these uh, healthy one plants so the variegated type of the symptoms are seen that is a uh, mosaic and muffling type of the symptoms are seen in particularly uh, leaf and uh, leaf blades and also the petiole portion of the uh, leaf okay so the affected leaf lamina is uh, drastically reduced and also the malpharma. Okay, means uh, the affected plants produces the narrow size of the leaf or just uh, the infected plants produces the modified leaf just like as a shoot string like leaf generally produced from these affected plants means uh, just the tendril tendril like structures means uh, that is a narrow size of the leaf generally produce as compared to the normal size of the leaf okay means uh, this uh, uh, yellowing leaf generally fall down from these uh, affected plants okay so this uh, uh, variegated symptoms also be seen on the stem portion, petiole portion, and also the fruit portions. Means uh, on the surface of the petiole, on the surface of the fruits, or maybe stem. So initially, water soaked up areas showing the concentric or somewhat these uh, yellow concentric rings or yellow dots may be interact with these uh, greenish patches. So this uh, uh, symptom generally is seen. So this is known as a mosaic type of the symptoms. So in uh, advanced uh, uh, stage of these uh, infections, this infected leaf become curled. 
okay so this variegated uh, symptom generally seen so first one lip mosaic lip when flaring and mottling type of the symptoms are seen when flaring is uh, uh, when and when the parts of the leaf become yellow in color and remaining the lip lamina also green in colors or uh, bulging type of the lip tissue with puckering so this type of the symptoms also seen due to the viral infections malform along with the filiformi or shoot spring uh, structures of the leaf generally comes from the affected plants okay or a fluorosis of the leaf tendrils or these elongated dark green streaks seen on the stem portion as well as the fruit portions okay means affected plants produce the narrow sized leaf and uh, this leaf generally curved from margin point or this infected leaf is curved in the inward directions or maybe outward directions okay means uh, in advanced stage of the infection growth of this uh, affected plants is totally stopped with uh, drying of the leaf followed by the withering of the plants so this type of the infections also seen so this is the known as the leaf mosaic and leaf curling symptoms also okay then uh, we see regarding the okay so this is the this is known as the leaf curling symptoms okay then uh, we go to the ring spot symptoms okay means uh, the virus uh, induces the several type of the symptom that is a mosaic symptoms mottling symptoms dark green crystal like symptoms or a necrosis of the chloritic areas or a leaf distortion symptoms okay means uh, uh, this is the result of the symptoms seen in the uh, standing of the papaya plants okay means the margin and distal part of the young leaf generally roll downward direction or maybe inward directions or on the affected stems mosaic of bottling symptoms show these the dark green spots or somewhat oily or water soaked streaks generally seen on these affected uh, stem portions or these affected plants produce the fruits so on the fruits that is a smaller dp lobed or somewhat is uh, circular or concentric uh, greenish uh, rings is a developed on the surface of the fruits okay means uh, this is the fruits contain the uh, means uh, the sugar percentage is also reduced uh, the fruits produced from the infected plants means uh, uh, retard the quality and quantity of the fruits means uh, latex quality generally reduced produce this is a plant is infected or just a poor okay means uh, the ring spots means uh, dark green concentric rings is developed on the leaf portion as well as the fruit portion or this uh, uh, streaks generally seen on the stem portion so that's why this fruit uh, this is is known as the ring spot disease okay means in regarding the mosaic leaf curl and ring spot virus 90% symptom is same okay so this uh, leaf mosaic virus generally transmitted uh, through aphid species okay means aphid is the insect vector for transmit the mosaic disease from one plant to the another plant okay then uh, some sap and grafting materials is also uh, transmit the virus from one plant to the another plants okay then in regarding the leaf curl disease the white flies 
that is bimisia tabaki this bimisia tabaki is a insect responsible to transmit the disease okay and in regarding the ring spot virus the majorly uh, aphid species acts as a role to transmit the disease okay so in keep in your mind regarding the transmission vector about the mosaic mosaic aphid leaf fly white flies and ring spot aphid species okay so instead of this uh, host crop this virus also be uh, survival and multiply on the various uh, uh, host crop for example tobacco tomato sunhill crossberry chili hollyhock genia this is the uh, wide host range for this uh, papaya mosaic virus or papaya leaf fly virus or ring spot virus okay so instead of the papaya plants so this virus having the wide host range uh, also this virus uh, survival on the cucurbitaceous crops and cruciferous crops okay then we discuss about the management point regarding the viral pathogens that is a mosaic pathogens leaf fly pathogen and uh, ring spot pathogens okay so we discuss about the control measures okay so most effective management points that is infect the plants should be destroyed even seen in the nursery bed areas or seen in the main bed area so immediately such locate such uh, means uh, locate uh, uh, infected uh, uh, plants and burn properly okay then uh, uh, do not grow the host crop and non host crop near to the papaya for example all cruciferous crops and uh, cucurbitaceous crops so this uh, avoid this uh, plantation of such a cruciferous crop and cucurbitaceous crop near to the papaya crop because this uh, virus having the wide host range okay then uh, spraying with the insecticides for example uh, metasostis dimethyl neocron at the rate of 0.05% okay so in this way you can control the sucking pest for example aphid species and white fly species so simultaneously you can reduce the viral disease uh, seen in the papaya okay then uh, somewhat growing resistant varieties for particular uh, mosaic virus then uh, tobacco uh, leaf fly virus and uh, ring spot virus okay then in regarding the ring spot virus uh, two resistant variety developed by the iari new delhi that is a sun sun up and rainbow these two variety uh, developed by using technique that is genetically modified variety so this is the gmo variety that is sun up and rainbow then uh, Uh, this uh, red daily these varieties also resist against this ring spot virus and uh, some hot uh, uh, mosaic and uh, ring uh, leaf fly diseases okay so this is the sun up rainbow and red daily this variety developed by using the gmo technology gmo means genetically modified uh, organisms okay so in this way you can avoid the viral diseases seen in the papaya okay thank you